Hey, I'm Jay Gregg, and on today's show, we're going turkey hunting. Charles Grantham of Lynch's River Outfitters is going to take us to watch some strutting. Stay tuned, it's all coming up next on Carolina Outdoors. with Jay Gregg. It's turkey time and with me now is Charles Grantham from Lynch's River Outfitters. Charles, good to see you again, yep, man. Yeah, Been a whole year. I know. It comes around fast, doesn't it? It does at that. It was a great year last year. We had a, a bunch of turkeys, you know, and it was everybody came, had a great time, and, and most of them killed birds, so it was really good. This year, Charles got a camera, and he went out and filmed some of his clients, and we want to show you some of those hunts today. Now, you had a character this year. Oh, yeah, I had a guy named Andre come from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and uh, he had been hunting with me a couple of years, and um, we were sitting in a chufa field, and, and it was the second day of turkey season, so the birds were really responding to calls well, and... And the sun came up, you know, and we were sitting there, and I had a couple decoys, a hen, and a full strut out there. And I hit hit the call early that morning, responding to me in the tree. So we knew just to wait, be quiet, and he would, and as you'll see here in a minute. It pays off, doesn't that's it? That's right. Well, tell me this. How'd you meet Andre? Um, actually, it was through a National Wild Turkey Federation banquet. I donated a hunt away, you know, and um, he called me up, and... He came on down uh, about three years ago. So. Really, and he's been coming ever since. Yeah, been a really good customer. All right, let's take a look at this hunt. Hey, guys. Andre Carbona from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I'm here in South Carolina hunting with Charles Grantham at Lynch's River Outfitters. This is about my fourth hunt. Been very successful. He's a good friend of mine. He's brought me to his favorite spot, the sanctuary. He said he's been seeing about three or four huge gobblers. You know, the big painted beard ones.
Charles, you know, you have such a beautiful landscape and all, and you've got people coming from all over to spend a weekend, a week with you, three right. or four days. Um, how, how are they getting in touch with you? It's easy. You can um, go to my website, which is lynchesriveroutfitters.com. Um, the National Wild Turkey Federation, you know, you can go to your website at mm -hmm. SouthCarolinaOutdoors.com, you know, and go well, we've been We've been filming with you the last two or three years. That's right. I mean, it's really easy, you know. The website has all the information on it. My phone number, 843-206-5171. I mean, just give me a call and we'll set it up. Well, let me ask you this, because I know, I know you for a fact you've got a bunch of people calling and setting up hunts. Right. How far in advance do people need to call to talk to you about turkey hunting? Well, I mean, the past couple of years have been so good, you know, that the repeat clients that's been coming, you know, the first week's usually booked, but, you know, the sooner the better because, you know, everybody likes come opening day, so. Everybody wants to get those birds when they're fresh. That's right. But, you know, like you just said, you know, uh, that first week gets booked up, so people need to probably call six yep. months in advance, don't they? Yeah. And usually if they call in advance, I'll, I'll try to work with them best I can and book in, or if it's spring break, usually happens in turkey season, or, you know, you have Easter, so I work around schedules and just whatever I have to do. You know, what a great place for a father-daughter or father-son hunt. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of uh, females now taking up turkey hunting. That's right, yeah. And a bunch of people are even bow hunting, you know, and like you have the Bowen family coming, you know, this year for turkey right. hunting, so we can take people in wheelchairs we, we you know we can move the blinds and take them right there to it so we we can do whatever you need y'all stay tuned for more turkey hunting action at lynch's river outfitters charles andre's pretty good shot isn't he? oh he is he had great patience on that first kill there i mean i made him wait for like 23 minutes it was awesome <laughs> well he did he did a great job because we were talking earlier when we're trying to film somebody we want to get a bunch of good footage most of the people I take cut and get excited, me included. Yeah. Bird walks out, you smoke him. So he really did a great job. Yeah, he showed great patience there, and I just told him, you know, take your time. And he killed that one, and we left him right there in the chufa field. And I said, well, let's just be patient, you know, and we'll sit right, right here, and we'll try to call in another one. Y'all never got out of the blind? No, I'm sure didn't. We just, I knew the birds were really close, and if I'd have gotten out, you know, I'd have spooked everything and would have been done for that morning hunt. So we just sat down, and you'll see what happens next. You started calling? Yeah, I mean, a lot of times when you kill the dominant bird, the other the other gobblers will come in and, and like peck in order to show their dominant, so it's pretty cool. And y'all never left the blind, and here uh, they come. That's right.
So Jay on the second bird, you know, we I hit the slate call a little bit and I heard him gobbling and I could see him, but it, then all of a sudden they started coming out of the brush straight to us. I mean, locked on that decoy. I mean, it was really it's cool. A bunch of birds. It was. It was a bunch How of. How far night. away were they when they were gobbling? Uh, they were probably. 100 yards away, and then they started closing in on us at probably 50, and then they finally broke through and came in the field, and it was, they were mean running to us, awesome. if you know what I mean. You know, keep in mind, too, he's already shot one time. Yeah, he, he was uh, he was really happy about his hunt. It was, it was a great time. It was one of those hunts you don't ever forget. Charles, tell us now, in the low country, the season comes in earlier. I think it's the 15th, is that right? That's right, but at Lynch River Outfitters, you can come. It starts April 1st through May 1st, and the uh, youth hunt is usually the Saturday before the season, so. All right, well, you can set up that hunt, too, don't exactly, you? Exactly, yes. And that's when you really need to call an event that's for right. it, don't you? Yeah. That's just one day. That's right. If you have a son or a daughter that never killed a bird, I mean, it's a it's almost guaranteed to come, you know, and you, you'll kill your turkey. It's still hunting, thing. though. Yeah, it's tough, but. Tell me this. Tell me about your lodging. Yeah, we can accommodate up to six people, you know. Um, we have a big pond there. We're, we usually uh, get up early in the morning and go turkey hunting. You know, we'll have donuts and danishes and, and coffee. Then we'll go to the hunt. We'll usually hunt to about 10 o'clock, depending on the birds and how they work. And then we'll come back, have a quick lunch, you know, and then go back out around 2 o'clock or so, so. Well, I love your pond, man. You got some good fishing in there, too. Oh, so man. you, you want to bring your rod and reel. That's correct. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned for more turkey hunting action at Lynch's River Outfitters. Hey guys, Andre Carvana. This is why you come to Lynch's River Outfitters with Charles Grant. Look what we smoked today. April the 2nd, second day of turkey hunting. They are still gobbling. This is the best hunt I ever had. Come and get you a bird. Look at the spurs. Look at the hooks on this sucker. You can hold your whole finger. Beer, 11 half. 11 and a half, past my hand. I mean, look at this stuff. Mm. I'm telling you, weighs about, about 20 pounds, 22 pounds, somewhere in there. Look at this one, same thing. Good, about an inch spur. Good 19, 20 pounds. Beer. Good nine inch. I'm telling you guys, you gotta come to Lynch's River Outfitters. Hunt of your life. Be here. Charles, two turkeys in one hunt never left a blind. That is just, Andre is a really good shot, I believe. Yeah, I mean, it took a lot of patience for him, you know. And I know he was in there shaking. He says, Charles, I got to kill this turkey now. <laughs> he couldn't wait any longer. It was, I mean, it was just a really great show. Well, that, I tell you what, that's what makes a good guy. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you handle all your clients so well. You take care of them. You treat them like royalty when they're, when they're at Lynchard River Outfitter. I try, you know, it's, a, it's hard work to be patient and keep everybody, you know, together and organized and it, it was just a good show. 
How big was that bird, the second bird? The second bird was right at 10 inches, I think. It had about an inch spurs, you know, and I don't remember the exact weight, but it was probably right around 18, 19 pounds. And how about the first one? First one was uh, probably a good two-year-old bird, you know, but for the first bird of the season, nobody's going to pass that up. That, that was nice, man. It really was. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time, yeah, Charles. Thank you. Looking forward to hunting with you this year. Thank you. Towards me. Don't look at me, though. I hope you enjoyed our turkey hunting show today at Lynch's River Outfitters. To set up a hunt, go to www.lynchesriveroutfitters.com. I'd like to give a special thanks to Charles Grantham and Andre for making this show happen. Till next week, get out and enjoy your Carolina outdoors.